Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Pat here with another video today about blue teaming. So what we're gonna be talking about is some tools and techniques that blue teamers use. If you're a red teamer, then you're on the offensive side. If you're a blue teamer, you're on the defensive side. I haven't really made too many videos about this like EDR, SIM tools, and different kind of techniques that defenders use against the adversaries or red teamers or pen testers or et cetera. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe, share, like, hit the bells and whistles and all that good stuff so you get, you know, you, you get alerted for more videos than when I put out. So without further ado, so we can see here on my screen, right, we have about 35 tools and resources. And we're going to go to the GitHub shortly, and I want to walk you through some of those tools that I use. And whatever ones that you want to use, you can go ahead and I'll put the, this, you know, I'll put the link in the description uh, below. So some, you know, as I wrote here, cybersecurity is not only the tools, but it's the rules as well. So we can have all these different tools in place, but if we don't have the rules or anything configured correctly, it's not going to do its job. So it is a job of an expert, you know, so pretty much we have to know the utilities, we have to know the tools, and we also have to know the solutions that we put in place against adversaries and red teamers, right? So, like I said, we're gonna get into the uh, GitHub repository shortly, so stay tuned and watch this video to the end so you get all the benefits, all right? So, there's some network discovery and mapping tools, right? We'll go into that shortly. Vulnerability management, obviously as a blue teamer, you can have a vulnerability committee inside your organization so you can run these vulnerability scans and stuff like that, even though that's like you can consider that red team, purple team, but blue teamers have this as well. Uh, security monitoring, maybe like Security Onion or an IDS or an IPS or a SIM tool like Splunk or like Microsoft Sentinel or Logrhythm or any kind of SIM tool that you have in your organization. Threat tools and techniques, maybe something like, I don't know, Sam, uh, Sandbox Joe. Say for example, you get an email that it may be malicious and you can run it through a sandbox that does malware analysis and all this fun stuff, right? Threat intelligence, right? Um, incident response planning. So IR planning, meaning God forbid something happens in your organization, what do you do to respond to that incident? Say, for example, your network got ransomware. How are you going to contain that one machine and make sure the rest of the network is not infected, right? So malware detection. So obviously with malware and all that fun stuff can be a job in itself for these defenders, right? So you can put something in place like Microsoft Defender, EDR applications like CrowdStrike and Cortex, maybe Huntress, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of techniques to, you know, to, to run on your endpoints to make sure these are safeguarded, right? So data recovery, that's, you know, say for example, you have ransomware and it really infects your whole system. Having a data recovery plan or, or, or it also known as um, uh, disaster, yeah, DRP, disaster recovery plan, and digital forensics. So say for an example, you have you know, a cell phone or you have a computer or any kind of digital device and you have to you know, do some forensics on that. You wanna have some things in place, like something like in case there's other applications out there if you're interested in the forensics world. Security awareness training, I think that is super, super key to keep your organization safe because the human Element is the weakest link. Always, today, tomorrow, and always. You can have all the EDR systems, the firewalls, the endpoint protections, all that stuff. But if your employers aren't educated and these employees aren't getting the right training to you know, defend against these adversaries or these hackers, you're going to be in bad shape. So security awareness training should be number one. And communication and collaboration. Right? You want to make sure you communicate to everyone 
upon don't stick your password under your keyboard or you know and collaborate with your team to make sure everything is good to go All right so as i put it down here uh not all of the above tools you know are purely uh, cyber defense they're using offensive teams too just like i just said some of these tools can all also use on the offensive side all right so enough with the jibber jabber let's go ahead and jump in so i found this on the interwebs and i think it's super super key and i actually have it as a favorite so we can get a little you know i want to put that this i want to put this in the description below so you guys can tinker with it so the tools, you know, tools, different kinds of instant response, some resources, some cheat sheets, defenders, malware analysis, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we have here blue team tools. So it goes down what we just talked about. You know, some blue team tips. You can, you know, payload ex uh, extraction from process. So if, say, for example, if we click on this, we can look at, Oh man, I don't know why my mouse is bugging out. I wonder if it's the VM. So if we click on this little picture, and we make this a little bigger, we can see process hacker. We can see different kinds of uh, processes and stuff like that that are running, okay? So let's go back. So network discovery and mapping, we, we already went over this. So you have Nmap, you have a whole bunch of tools, Angry IP Scanners, uh, Zmap, and you can show Dan. I like show Dan, but you had that's in internet facing assets. You know, you can search for those. And you have vulnerability management, open VOS, which is open source. You have Nessus, Nexpose, HackerOne, there's Qualys. There's, there's a whole bunch of vulnerability management applications. So there's security monitoring, Sysmon, et cetera, et cetera. And you can go ahead and just, uh, Tinker with these and see what's, you know, see what's good for you. You know, I'm just going to go through these tools quickly. I don't want it to make, make this a very, very long video, but threat tools and techniques. You can, you know, fiddle with these and see there's 10 tools here. Threat Intel, there's three tools. Uh, Multigo, MISP, Malware, informa uh, Malware Information Security plat uh, Sharing Platform, and then Threat Connect. So then we have incident response planning, NIST. Obviously, you should know NIST, super, super important. Uh, incident, uh, incident response planning, a ransom, a ransomware response as well. And then you have malware uh, detection. At, uh, here we have a virus total, IDA, and so on and so forth. There's a, you know, you can take with these on your, on your own, you have data recovery. We have three tools here. And then we have digital forensics, autopsy, which is a good one. In case is another good one. And uh, security awareness training, you have try hack me, you have hack the box and fish me. And you can also create, uh, there's another one like no before. There's, there's a boatload of them out there. And then the last one is communication collaboration. Create a Twitter, collaborate with the community. That's definitely key. Facebook as well. I no longer have a Facebook, so at least for right now. So, and then, yeah, blue team tips. You know, there's some blue team tips down here. Um, keep going down and pretty much it goes, it's a massive, massive page, right? So it goes into the tools, some kind of the scans, you know, little inside of each tool. You know, I don't wanna go here. Mass scan is a cool, tool i use mass scan a lot um angry ip scanner that's more of a windows tool um, i used to use that a lot in windows zmap so you get the idea and you just go ahead and just tinker with these tools and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me and i don't know every single tool in here i haven't played with every single tool to be quite you know 100 honest but i want to go down a list and tinker with each one and as i get more familiar maybe i'll make different videos or just ask me and then I can dig more into it because if I'm not really using the tool if I don't need the tool I may not tinker with it as much as maybe you do if you're you know needing that tool so just leave a comment in the description or leave a comment in the comments below or whatever 
You can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and also here. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel, you guys can join the channel. You can you know, contribute to my Patreon. I created a Patreon. So it, all the support is truly, truly appreciated. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for viewing. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'm going to start doing more giveaways. I did two giveaways already, like a uh, alpha card and some books. Uh, I read team, a red team book. So I'm going to probably do maybe a try hack me uh, voucher, hack the box vouchers, but more to come. And I'll definitely keep the community uh, up to date on that. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day and hopefully you enjoy my videos. Thank you so much. And until next time, be safe.